Hey soccer players, today's foundation is 1v1 defending. I'm by myself with just one cone, one soccer ball, one ladder, no one else. Coach, you can't do defending drills unless you have a fancy drill with 27 people and things like that. Nope, you can do it all by yourself, at least work on some of the fundamentals. So, today what we're working on with 1v1 defending, our foundation here, is how to approach the ball and how to shut down the ball carrier. So, what you're gonna do, I have my cone here. So I'm gonna toss the ball out a couple yards, nothing too far. We're gonna work on how to approach a dribbler. What I see kids do all the time, they're fired up, they're aggressive. So what do they do? They go, ah! And they sprint with everything they have. And mom and dad are cheering, yeah! And what does the guy do? Or what does the girl do? They touch the ball to the side and you go blowing by them and you're beat. And everyone's now cheering for the other person. Why? Because he didn't approach right. So let's go over how we want to approach. First, you want to curve your run and force the player to a side. Which side, coach? Well, it depends. Does your coach want you to turn them inside the field, outside the field? Do you have support? Uh, are you pressing? Are you dropping back? Are they right footed? Are they left footed? Where's the goal? Like there's so many variables, but you want to push them to a side. You don't let the forward tell you where they're dribbling. You as a defender tell them where they're dribbling. So if I think this player that's imaginary dribbling at me is a left footed player, let's just say I don't want them to go left. So I'm gonna go to my right, their left. I'm gonna arc my run and I'm gonna come at them from a curve. Why? Because they won't go this way. I know they're gonna dribble this way. I as the defender just determined where they're gonna dribble. Now be careful. You can't go straight. They'll cut you either direction. You can't do an arc like this too much. They'll just run straight by you. Just a little bit of a curve run. So you sort of curve out and then you come at them. Now, how do you approach other than curved? What I always say is you want to get there fast, arrive slow. Get there fast, arrive slow. So this way you've got, to, you've got to close them down quickly, but you can't come in a full sprint. They'll just cut you with a simple move. So you sprint really fast, then you start slowing down. So fast, slow. So those last couple steps, those three or four steps where you get there, you start pumping on the brakes a little bit so you can contain them. So it's the sprint on the curve, then you start slowing down. Now once you start slowing down, what do you do? So curve run, get there fast, arrive slow. What's next? Chop the feet. Okay, you start chopping the feet because my heels are off the ground, I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm ready to go this way into the tackle. I'm ready to go this way if they dribble. By short steps, I'm not caught with my foot up in the air where I can't pivot, I can't move. So choppy steps, small steps. Curve run, get their fast drive slow, short choppy steps. Let's, so, let's say I wanna force them to the, him or her to the left. So I come this way. And last but not least, I'm side on. Don't be square, side on, okay? So curve run, get there fast, arrive slow, choppy steps, side on. That is how you become a great defender. So let's see it at speed. Perfect. What's also nice about this, if you wanna take the drill up one notch, so do that for about two minutes. Maybe throw in one or two backward contained steps. Wait for them to make that bad touch. There you go, do that for two or three minutes. You already will be a better defender. Next, get the cone out of the way. We're gonna do the ladder, back shuffle. Most soccer players don't dribble in a straight line. They're coming back and forth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this shuffle to contain. Number one mistake I see young kids do, they turn their back. You're containing, he or she cuts this way. So what do you do? You turn to go defend, oh no. They're here, the ball's here. I turn this way, I have no idea what they're doing or where that ball is, you're beat. So instead of turning this way, your front leg drops, is now your bat leg. So you're always keeping them in front of you, eyes on them and the ball, they're in your vision. So you have to be able to pivot. We're gonna do a backward shuffle that really focuses on pivoting in the ladder. So, 
You're gonna go diagonal back, and you're gonna zigzag across the ladder. So right foot in, left foot in, right foot out. Notice how I went up one square. Then my left foot is not gonna touch the ground because I'm gonna pivot. Left, right, my left foot goes back and out one square. My right foot doesn't touch the ground. So right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. And this is simulating I would contain and drop back and shuffle. So this might be one that you have to do it slow a couple times. So it's okay if you just go right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. The biggest mistake I see people make is they try to do this and they go every ladder. Remember, when your foot goes back, that counts as the next square down. So you go right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, then when you're done, Try it faster. Oh, I stepped on the ladder. It means my feet were a little bit off. Okay, reset. Oh, I stepped on the ladder, it's okay. That's tricky, you're trying to look back behind you. But it's giving you those hip swiveling, balance, balls of the feet, keeping the defender in front of you. If you go back or through, through a ladder, it's gonna be easy to contain the defender. So we know how to approach the defender, we know how to contain, Excuse me, we know how to approach the attacker. We know how to contain the attacker. That's gonna make us a great defender. Do those drills and you do this for about three minutes. You're gonna have fun and you're gonna get better.